video, what we're going to do is show you how to create a spreadsheet, edit the spreadsheet, and create an embedded chart. You'll notice I've taken the liberty of placing uh, a heading up here, Marvin's Music and Movie Mirage, headings down column A, and headings across in row 2, B, C, D, E, and F. Now, if we want to center the heading for Marvin's Music, it's very easy to do. All we have to do is place the cursor in cell A1, hold down your left button, and highlight across. Then you'll notice that right here is a merge and center tool. And with the cursor in this place, if we want to in cell A1, we can also increase it by hitting the large A or reduce it by hitting the little A. Now, it's important that you remember when you type in numbers that you do not type in a comma. You'll notice we only have the decimal points. I'm going to take my mouse and highlight the columns all the way from B3 down to B8 and all the way over to F8 because these are the places where all of our numbers are going to be located. I'm going to click my right button and click on format cells. Now if I leave it under number like it is, if I want a comma, I just simply place a comma here. If I click on currency, I'll automatically have a comma and two decimal points and I can have the symbol of a dollar sign or if I want I can get rid of it. Let's put the dollar sign back in. Simply click on OK and it edits our field for us. Now if I want to add this up I can just simply place the cursor here hit the sum and you'll notice it highlights the area that we're going to add and it gives us the total. Also I can grab the corner and pull it across and, re and it'll add them all for us. Up here on, in cell F3 I can hit the sum again and you'll notice it adds across and I can repeat that process only twice and the reason for that is it's because it does not know if you want to add up or across hold down my left button again and highlight and it adds everything up now let me pause here for a second we have another unique way in which we can add simply place the cursor in cell B3 hold down your left button and highlight the areas that you wish to add up then the alter equal sign will give you the totals and this will allow those numbers to work now they're not quite big enough so what I'm going to do is click right here click my right button and click on the formatting tool and highlight these numbers and I'll make them as large as the other one let me go back and hit the sum here and we'll pull that down oh this means the field isn't big enough this is good so make our field a little bit larger next thing we want to do is we're going to add a little color to this I'm going to place the cursor in cell A1 click on my pail and choose any color you want. I'm going to click on this uh, light orange here for a fill. Place my cursor here, highlight the rest of the spreadsheet, and click on my down arrow, and I'm going to make it a bright yellow. Now, this is our spreadsheet. Now, what we must do is create a chart from it. To do that, very simple to do. I'm going to click on Insert tab, and we have our chart lined up, but we have to specify what part of the spreadsheet do we want to have in our chart. What we want to do here is click on A2, hold down the left button, and go. do not put the totals in, and slide all the way over to E7. Remember, do not have the totals. Click on our column, and we want 3D column, and we want to lay out the first one. And you'll notice it says chart here. I'm going to grab the upper right-hand corner of this chart and move it down make it a little bit easier to work with and put it right above the 11 there. Now what we want to do is put our chart title let's put Marvin's Music and Movie Mirage in here. To do that simply click on the uh, Marvin's Music and Movie Mirage, highlight it, hit Control C to copy, click on your chart title, get rid of it, and hit Control V to paste. So we transfer it without typing anything which makes it really easy to do. The next thing we want to do is we want to increment this up by 10,000. To do that, place the mouse here, click your right button, click on Format Axis, and you'll notice um, we have numbers here. We don't want decimal points, so simply get rid of that. And then we want to change the number, um, the fill, or the axis, I should say. We want to change it from 5,000. We want to have it fixed, and we want to change it to 10,000 and simply hit close and watch down here as it will change for us. Now increment by 10,000. 
What we can do also is you can right click here, click on font, and you can also change the color of your font and increase the size, uh, make things a little bit more easier for people to read. Last thing we want to do is click on page layout. Here it says page setup. Click on the down arrow. And we want to, oh, we're on the chart. Now this means that the chart is embedded. And if I want to print out the chart, we're already going to be highlighted. To show you what I mean, since the chart's highlighted, click on the preview. And you're only going to see the chart. Let me close that. Click off the chart. And now when I hit preview, we're going to see both the spreadsheet and the chart. Let me close out again. What we want to do here is under page layout, click on page setup, click on the down arrow, click on sheet. We want grid lines and rows and columns. The next thing we want to do is click on header and footer, custom header, and we want to type in our name in this area. And we want to put the date here. Simply click on OK, click on OK again. Now let's look at preview. When we look at preview, you'll notice we have your name here, we'll have the date, rows and columns, exactly what we need to print this out and turn it in.